How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of a lowerish ABV West Coast style pale ales in the form of Fox Farm Brewing. It's their Refluent. Um, yeah, never had this before. Super piquing my interest. This has, um, like I said, lower ABV, 5.8%, but it's a West Coast style pale ale. It's kind of, yeah, kind of into that. And plus, honestly, I don't think I've ever had even a mediocre Fox Farm beer. Most of them have been fantastic. There was one mystery beer that was quite all right. Didn't blow me away, but I would think it was like a dark lager or something like that. But all in all, for the most part, these beers have been really killer. Um, this one comes courtesy of my boy, Steven. Thank you very much, brother. Um, he sent this off with a box of deliciousness and a bunch of mystery beers, so thank you. Happy holidays to all you out there. And uh, yeah, I mean, she looks like a West Coast hazy. I mean, she's not super hazy. You know, you kind of get light through her, but she's definitely not that clear what you typically expect from a West Coast kind of pale ale. But she has that coloration you'd expect, that kind of rich kind of copper coin color, color that rich kind of just slightly kind of amberish kind of hue to it. I mean, pinky finger and a nose of an infinitely creamy, creamy with a bit of rocky soapy edges on it, hitting a lot of marks as far as the head goes, but she looks pretty damn tasty. Label-wise, I dig all their labels. The cross pattern, I don't know what it is about it, this two-color cross pattern label. You got me. I like it. I dig it. It's actually dug in the nose of this sucker. I mean, it smells like a West Coast IPA. Because you're getting that piney, almost pine tree barky kind of resinous kind of character to it. It's not all pine needles. It's more resinous. It's more tree bark-like. There's a nice sweetness underneath it. Like a subtly kind of, um, like, slightly hard candy, like, um... Uh, you know, elevated, almost like Maris Otter kind of maltiness to it, which I really dig when it comes to the West Coast IPAs. So that kind of Maris Otter mixed with a bit of crystal malt, combine that with a lot of West Coast influence hops, but it still has a soft little citrus pattern underneath it. And while it is resinous, it's not pine needly. Again, it's not piney. I don't think it's going to be overly bittering, but I think you're going to get a nice soft sultriness on top of that kind of nice West Coast vibe and give you that mix of that East and the West Coast. Let's dive in. Cheers. Okay. This dude be wrong. Um, This is very much kind of old school West Coast before the Hop Challenge beers came out because it doesn't have that super sultry mouthfeel. Not in a negative way. I think it's where it needs to be appropriate mouthfeel-wise. It's got a fullness to it. It's nothing thick. It's nothing dense, but it's not thin by any stretch of imagination, especially for a five and change percent beer. The malt, while sweet and does have that subtle kind of brown sherry candy component to it, it is very nutty. There's like a nutty, a biscuity kind of malt to this, and I kind of dig it. The hops are very much West Coast. You're getting that rich, resinous vibe. Not super sharp. Maybe that's kind of where your kind of body and mouthfeel and haze is kind of tempering a little bit of those edges so it's not super piney, um, resinous in your face, but you're getting it there. But there's a little bit of kind of sanded edges to it to where it's not as striking, not as jarring. Now, I can dig both ends of the spectrum, but you're talking about a 5.8% beer. It tends to be in the kind of realm where I want to drink a couple of them. And that's where this one kind of, I guess, kind of elevates beyond just a, a hop in your face kind of uh, moment when it comes to the beer because it, it, those soft edges let you go back for more and let you drink a little bit more. And that's a good thing. It's really tasty, honestly. This is kind of a really nice reprieve from what we see a lot of days, especially from our New England style breweries. Sure. It's not unique. You know, Treehouse does their West Coast style. Um, you know, a lot of breweries do their West Coast beer style beers. Um, but this one has a little bit of personality to it. It's just not a West Coast IPA kind of kind of stamped clone or anything like that. It feels like it, it does take a bit of what you can... What's the one I'm trying to say here? It has East Coast influence, but it takes and cherry picks the bits and pieces of East Coast that work really well with the West Coast. So it's not giving you that super dense mouthfeel. It's bringing you drinkability, but it's using that kind of, that softness, that little bit of softness doesn't translate so much in a mouthfeel, but uses it to temper a little bit of the sharp edges of the hops. So it takes a little bit of discipline from the East and lets the West lead the way while guiding it along the way and ends up making like a really fun, really drinkable beer. It drinks way above its weight class. It probably, you know, going into this blind, I would have 
soon. This would be more like a high six pushing low sevens kind of beer. So it's drinking bigger than it measures. It's tasty, soft, drinkable. I'm a fan. Really tasty stuff. Thank you very much, Stephen. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better West Coast style IPAs that I've had as of late? Yes. I mean, they call it a pale ale, right? Yeah. It's an IPA for me. Um, and it is pretty damn tasty. So I dig it. Yeah, definitely up there, too. Uh, value and availability? No idea. I don't know what Fox Farm does. I assume it's brewery only. And I hope their prices aren't too bad. Somebody clue me on what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like West Coast, want just the ever so slightest dollop of East Coast. This is going to do you all kinds of proper. So there I go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of pale action right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>